Hello again and welcome to another video. This is our stunning BMW 330i M Sport Auto. Now this car's finished in sapphire black metallic. It's done just 20,000 miles with full service history. The car has had all the love here at Prestige. It's all been machine polished and thoroughly detailed by the guys here. Um, I'm going to talk about some of the spec on the car. There's quite a lot to talk about. Now, I'm just going to bring you in to the front here, and you'll notice that these headlights got a little blue line in them. And this is the BMW laser lights. I'll just bring you in closer. And you'll see on there. Now, this is a £1,500 option from BMW. Now, these lights were developed... Um, basically, they found out about, um, I think the medical profession in is either Japan or China, using um, lasers to create light technology, etc. And so the way these lights work, there are three laser diodes that shine a blue laser light onto a mirror through some phosphorus, I believe. And that turns the light into a white light. And they can shine as far as 600 meters. And because you've got like a multi beam, you've got three different beams, when the oncoming traffic comes towards you, they can emit light around that vehicle. So a very clever system. You also get heads up display, sorry, not heads up, high beam assist. And the high beam assist will dip the lights as well for you automatically and bring back up the main beam when you've passed the car. So I'm just gonna bring you around to the front so you can see. So a really, it's not a cheap option, but a really nice option, especially if you travel on a lot of B roads, etc., or even on the motorway. Now, I'm gonna bring you in close. We've got the radar down at the bottom there for anti-collision, etc. Now the paintwork is in really nice condition. There are a couple of very, very minor little sort of stone chips that we've touched in but they're all like uh, dots if you like there's nothing big or anything like that the car has the shadow line plus package which gives you all the black trims black grills black around the windows now i'm going to come around i've got front and rear parking sensors just bring you around to this side can't take my eyes off these lights. They look really cool in the showroom. But all in really nice condition. We've got LED lights for fog lights down there as well. While we're here, let's show you down the side of the car. Now that's where you get to see that all the panels are nice and straight. Not had any damage down there. And the reflection is really clean. I'm just moving the camera around so you get the reflection moves so you can see that really nice and clearly. And if we come up onto the bonnet and just move across, you can see the paintwork is in really nice condition. And I'll try and find a little stone chip somewhere in a minute. As I say, the reflection on the paintwork is a lot cleaner than when they're new, to be honest with you. And when I say tiny little chips, um, okay, you can just, in the middle of the screen there, tiny little chip, and it's been touched in, but the light above, and there's one just to the left there, but that's because you're seeing it with the bright light up there, shining down. But when you normally walk around the car, you don't really see them, to be honest with you. I'm just trying to be really transparent with the videos. So the car also, I'm gonna mention some of these things, maybe a bit out of uh, sync, but the car has uh, park assist, so it can automatically park itself. You can see we've got the parking sensor just on the side there. I don't wanna miss anything out. So this car has the M Sport Plus package. So these are the 19 inch 791 M alloy wheels finished in black gloss to match the car with the BMW M Sport brakes. So you get a bigger caliper, all powder coated in blue, which is really nice because 
um, the standard ones would just be sort of corroded after a while and there's the rear one all of the alloys are in really nice condition i think the front driver side one had a couple of marks on it and we had it properly repowder coated and diamond cut so it's like brand new now so i've been really thorough with the car it's going to come out and show you the side so we've got the privacy glass or the sun protection glass as bmw call it at the back which reflects the heat back out of the car all the black trim around the windows we've got the little m spoiler on the back little subtle spoiler on the back there just going to bring you up onto the roof i think there was a tiny tiny little chip on the front edge which i can't really oh you can just see it in the light like i say it's just the light reflection in here it picks up everything other than that there's no scratches, no bird dropping marks. Same with the boot lid. That's all clean. I mean, look at the reflection, it's like a mirror. The shine that's come up. All the towel lights have been machine polished. I mean, everything gets machine polished. Any bits on the interior, we've got various different uh, equipment to do different things on the cars. And when you come round to the back, there are with the shadow line plus, I think the, the rear lights are more smoked. If I come in close, can you see how smoked the top section of the light is there? We've got rear camera, twin exhaust, and they're also, with the shadow line plus, I think they're also, or the M Sport, they're in the darker, I sort of anodized, is it? I think the, the right word, finish. And they've all been polished as well. Now this car also has, in fact, we'll carry on around the car. It's got electric boot opening, keyless entry, with smart opener for the boot. Just show you down there as well, the parking sensor at the side for the parking, automatic parking. All around the filler cap here. Now I'm just gonna open this up because worth mentioning that these cars are pretty much future-proofed. It run, runs on the current E10 fuel, but uh, will also run on the E25, should that come out in a few years' time. Also, uh, the tyres, they're Goodyear Eagle F1s. They've all got plenty of tread left on them as well. So as you can see, this wheel in really nice condition. There's no smart repairs. Um, that I can see on any of the wheels, the diamond cutting on them is really nice and bright. I'm just going to open up one of the doors. Yeah, we've got the little LED lights just under the door handles there as well. And then that door edge, you can see there's no damage on there. Let's check out the front wheel. So this is the one, we had this one completely refurbed uh, professionally. So it's all been powder coated black, re and cut, and um, looking like brand new now. All new um, caps in the center caps of the wheels as well. And there's a view from the side. Now, the next thing I'm gonna show you is the car's currently locked. So there's a little serrated bit just on the inside here. We press that, that locks the car, mirrors fold in. So this is part of the comfort access. But with the key in your pocket, it will automatically open as you approach it. There you go, so you heard hopefully the click now the car's open so you don't even have to put your hand back into the handle it will sit it will uh, pick up that you've approached the car and it will unlock it for you especially good if you've got young children and you're carrying them and you just want to get the door open quick without fumbling around for the keys or anything Right, let's take a look inside. 
before we get inside, I just want to show, there's the heads up display there, because we've got the technology pack on this car as well. In fact, before I jump in, I've got a piece of paper in my hand. All the cars are spec checked properly. This car's got the M Sport Plus pack, the Comfort pack, Technology pack, Shadow Line Plus pack, Visibility pack. So quite a few packs on the car. It's about, I think it's just over eight, between eight and nine thousand pounds of options on the car. Now it's the Vanesca lever that they use, if I've pronounced that right, in the BMWs now. All of the door card, really nice condition. We've got the blue highlighted stitching as well. Currently the lights are set for blue. You can change the color of them. We've got the Harman Kardon sound system. Speakers in the door there, underneath the seats and up in front on top of the dash. All of the carpets are in really nice condition. If we come around the door shuts, all the seat there with the blue stitching, we've got the bolster button there to inflate the bolsters to give you more grip or to grip you more the seat. The front section of the seat opens up. All of the leather has all been cleaned and treated. So this is the highlighted leather. You get those look, the three different color bands in there, the red, the dark blue, and the light blue in the piping there. And a really nice interior. And as you can see, the screen just sits a little bit further down on these newer shapes. And you've got the BMW Live cockpit. We've got heated steering wheel, wireless charging, which we'll show you more of in the minute. But I just wanted to show you the car from this side so you can see that there's no damage on the side there. Nothing up on the top. Whoops, there you go. Okay, we'll show you more of in there from the other side. Come into the rear door. And again, door card, all in really nice condition. And they give you a nice big... Uh, section there to put your drinks or bottles in there as well to hold your drinks <laughs> this is what happens when you do a video you can't speak properly or i can't anyway <laughs> it's like your brain is trying to keep up with what you're filming but hey we do our best now let's check out this door shut again no damage just trying to keep it in focus for you. All of the rubbers around the door. I'm gonna check out the back of these front seats. Let's move it gently down. So no scuff marks on them. And all of the seat bases and the Isofix holes there as well. We've got the M seat belts as well. We've got um, fold down headrests. And the M seat, seat belts just continue that um, BMW colors down the edge of the seat belt, so which really finishes it off nicely inside. It's a really good color combination. If you like black, then uh, you know your car's you know all blacked out and very little chrome. This car's perfect for you. Now, being that it's got the M Sport Plus package, it also has the adaptive M suspension just waved my foot under the back there for it to open so it has the uh, adaptive m sport suspension and the m sport differential which gives you sort of better grip when you're pulling away better traction we'll come back to that when we get inside the car just didn't want to forget to mention it you can see all around here no damage And the seats drop down as well, so you've got through loading, you've got two little handle, handles at the top there, and that will release the seats. All the carpets in really nice condition. Got the first aid kit just down in there. Uh, warning triangle up at the top here. Now, we can either close the boot here 
or we can close the boot and lock the car in full. We could also use the key to close the boot down or just wave our foot. So if you do like so, the boot just closes down. So if you've just picked something out of the boot, all you need to do is wave your foot under there. Probably a good bit of exercise balancing on one foot. Otherwise you need to use the key. Okay, let's keep it real, Scott. Okay, let's open up this door. I've just realized you can use the keyless entry on all the doors. It's got the little bit on all the doors. They never used to do that. So again, look, the door card, really nice condition. I really like the blue lighting on. You can change that to sort of amber, red, white. But it's really good with the blue, with all the stitching, etc. Now we take a look down here. Again, no scratches, because sometimes people, they'll jam the, they'll leave the seat belt out, shut it in the door and damage this area of the car. So this one's all in lovely condition. Let's open up the driver's door. I'm just going to turn the lights off. There we go. So let's try and get a better color. Okay, so this is the driver's side door. We've got the um, central locking on the door as well. And then if we come up onto the buttons here, you can manually close the uh, mirrors. We've got auto dipping on the left hand side mirror when you go into reverse which you can turn on and off by changing which side the mirror selection buttons on that's this one here oh that's lost a bit of focus there there we go and then the driver's seat worth pointing out actually look how clean it is in here with these lovely sports pedals with the stainless finish and the rubber Really nice and clean. And the seat and the sides of the bolsters where everyone likes to check, nowhere there. So really nice. Let's just bring the camera around. And the steering wheel, all of the leather in really nice condition. And then we've got the heating steering wheel heating button just at the bottom there so i'm just gonna jump in i'll just try and give you a view and we are going to do pictures of the car of course so you can always zoom in on those i'm just going to pull this door shut now we've got keyless start just down here so there we go everything firing up going through its checks and it's all done now. So again, just gonna mention something in case I forget, we've got speed limit display down here, which will also show on the heads up display. So just below AO on that number plate, you'll see the speed limit um, of the road you'd be on and then the MPG, uh, miles per hour, sorry. Now using the, let's just come out, roll a button here let's just turn this fan down uh, where are we going okay that's better okay let's turn that off one second there we go now if I just scroll in I'm just going to in fact window up there if I press on the other button we've got media music radio and then you can flick through all the radio channels this will show you um, your navigation up here as well uh, your Apple CarPlay next songs I think as well so you get lots of displays so that's essentially what the uh, heads-up display is which is reflected from that screen there it looks like it's at the front of the car basically and then we have the live cockpit down here 
So as you can see, we've got the map in the center and then you've got a window on the right. Now, using this button here, Oh, now we're set to use heads up display. So on that mode, the mode I've left it in, I've just realized it won't change the display down here because it's using the heads up display. So we'll, we'll come back to that. We've then got the new, um, basically intelligent screen, I'd call it, with which is all touch screen. Now you've got different windows, so you can just slide across lot and you can um, set these windows up to display exactly what you want. If you tap on the uh, map, you'll get the map come up large. Now I did have the phone connected to Apple CarPlay earlier. And what I noticed what was nice on these later ones, the Apple CarPlay is the full screen all the way across. Unlike the previous one, which was only the three quarters of the screen and it left this part for the split screen. Now you've got all your settings down here on this side. You can configure everything to how you want it, uh, map styles, etc. You can go back here, um, split screen. I think this is where you can uh, split this screen as well, like so. Turn it off, come back out of there. If we go to home, and go to well, let's go to media. You've got all your radio stations there. Uh, manual search on the right there. Your sound system, and then down here you've got your Bluetooth options. Obviously, I haven't got my phone connected for the Apple CarPlay because I'm using the phone. All your surround settings there. To come out of there. Screen mirroring. I've never personally used it but um, I think the Apple CarPlay is uh, better. I believe um, BMW can upload Android into these. I'm not too sure um, on the cost of that, so you'd have to contact BMW. If we come out of their menu, uh, we've been there, sorry. And then we've got driving information, your journey, give you all the figures on your journey and what mode you were driving in and then if we come out of there your sport displays so like g-force counter and everything and then driving style that's when you're in eco pro so let's put it into eco pro and then you can fit configure the eco pro sorry there it is eco pro limit your speed limit that you want to um get the best out of uh, the fuel consumption, Eco Pro for lighting and stuff. Then the damping, you can change that from comfort to sport, the steering. So you can change the weight of the steering and the suspension in that mode. Uh, vehicle status is where you'll find your tire pressure monitor, engine oil level, check your control messages, make sure you have not empty your washer fluid, etc and then your service requirements, and uh, it's not due for another 10,000 miles. So that's all good in there. Come out of there, settings, general settings, drive modes, driving assistant. This is where you'll find um, your front end collision warning, lane departure warning on this car. Now with the lane departure warning, you can also have steering intervention. Now, if it works something like the ones I've used previously, if you're not indicating to move out of the lane, then basically the steering wheel will take over and pull you back into the lane. And then we have speed assistant, adjust speed limits, speed limit excess. So, so you, it picks up on the GPS, I believe, and uh, will stop you going over the speed limit for the road that you're on so you don't get done for speeding. There's a lot of technology in these. Oh, go back in there. Um, was it that one? Where were we? Settings, maybe. Yeah. And your displays. You can put the display uh, where it is. Control. So there's your heads up display. You can adjust the brightness of everything there. I sort of know where way around these ones. Converted speed addition. There's so much in here. 
I mean, it's crazy how much stuff's in these cars nowadays. Um, driving mode view, you can change all that. Interior lighting, driving assistance. Right, parking maneuvering. So you can have the, the car set. So basically, if you were reversing and someone walked behind you, the car will automatically brake for you. Or if there's an obstacle, it'll automatically brake for you. Um, you've got the park assist, that's the automatic parking. Um, feedback via steering wheel. So steering wheel vibration as a warning for intelligent safety systems. So you've also got like pedestrian control on here as well. Um, there we go, collision warning and pedestrian alert. So you can have it set so that it'll intervene with the steering and vibrate on the steering wheel. I mean, there's so much safety in these cars. So that's come out of there. And then you've got all the apps, Android Auto. Okay. So this car, by the looks of it, has got the Android Auto on it. So that's good to know. I haven't got an Android phone, but I'll check that with one of the guys here that has got an Android phone, and I'll put into the advert um, confirmation that it has got the Android Auto on there. Fantastic, right. We've then got down here, oh, this is a shortcut here to all of your safety features, pedestrian, intelligent safety, and then you can set it up for front end collision, lane departure, steering intervention. That's a shortcut there. We've got our heating controls here. There we go, forwards, fan speed, temperatures, dual climate, menu, heated seats, and then shortcut, buttons down here now if we come down to the gear stick area well there's the iDrive wheel so we can write on the top of this iDrive wheel sorry about the reflection from the light I'm just going to try and see if I can get this a bit better it's very bright so there's all your shortcuts and then you can write onto the top so if we go navigation let's give you a quick demonstration um, Okay, search. So we can either write with our finger here, so we can do P. O. Three. If you want a space, put a line across. Space. Five. R. Y. Press OK. And that's us there. And that's exactly where the car is situated. So it's just going to take us for a little trip around the car park by the looks of it and back. <laughs> so that's all good. Okay, now, the adaptive suspension. We've got also hold here as well for the brakes. So if we go into adaptive, this will use the um, adaptive shock absorbers, which are fluid based with a valve. And what we can actually do, I'm just trying to work out where the adjustment is for them. Um, sport mode, okay, here it is. And so basically it'll change the amount of fluid in the shock absorbers to give either a softer or a firmer ride. And we can do the same with the steering. The steering can change the weight of the steering. So we can change the damping from comfort to sport. We can change the steering from sport to comfort. Let's put it back to sport. Engine, so this is your power. We've got quite a few there. We've got comfort, sport and sport plus. And we've got Sport and Sport Plus on, and Comfort for the gearbox. So in Comfort, it'll have a, a slightly slower, um, smoother shift. And in the top one, Sport Plus, it's going to have a more aggressive, quicker shift, essentially. Right. We have down here USB and we also have the wireless charging. So if you have a Plus phone, you'll be able to charge your phone wirelessly now in there because the old cradles never used to take the plus phones um, just the standard size ones you can just lay the phone in there and it will charge up we've also got a 12 volt socket here that's just a blank in there and then we've got another USB in here a little light in there as well all the books are in there 
Now I think we've covered pretty much everything. We've got speed, we've got cruise control there. I think everyone knows about that. Paddle shift. Let's take a look under the engine now. So two pulls of the bonnet, release. So this is our four cylinder twin power turbo petrol engine. Now this produces 254 brake horsepower, about 295 pounds per foot of torque. Now we can have a Celtic tuning um, uploaded onto the car. It's essentially a remap and that will push this up to 300 brake horsepower and I think it's 330, might be a bit more, but I think it's 330 pounds per foot of torque. It's either 330 or 360, I can't remember now. But so you can increase the power, you'll retain the fuel economy as well with the map, as long as you're driving it economically, obviously not if you're driving it harder. But the 330 seems to be the best of both worlds, as I probably mentioned in the advert. You can get really good fuel economy out of these, and then you've got the power when you need it. And it's a very smooth ride with that adaptive suspension. Just wanted to show you up under here just how beautiful and clean this is. I'm so upset that the light outside today, the sun is very orange and uh, it's playing real havoc with the, the light in the showroom, with the LED lights. But yep, yeah, all lovely under there. Now, all of our cars go round to the BMW specialist, whether they're due a service or not, they're all plugged in. We check to make sure there's no fault codes on the cars. All our cars are test driven by us up the motorway. And someone said to me the other day, well, why up the motorway? Well, there's no point in test driving a car at 30 miles an hour because it might have a vibration or a buckled wheel or tracking out or a noisy um, wheel bearing that only is highlighted at 60 miles an hour. So that's the reason that we test the cars up the motorway and we give them a, about a six mile journey up the road and back on the motorway to make sure that the cars are running just as they should be and there's no tires out of shape Believe it or not, some of the tyres that are produced today, more so the Pirellis, they can go out of shape on the edges and it can just cause like a noise. And it's very annoying because you need to replace them to get rid of it. And sometimes they've got five mil of tread left on them. So that's the reason for the test drive, to make sure all the cars go out as they should. Now we've got lots of different finance options, lease purchase, PCP, hire purchase, we have got also some fantastic warranty packages, extended warranties that you can take out up to four years now. And they even cover the extended ones um, that we sell, will even cover oil seals and gaskets, which are not usually on most people's warranties. So please give me a call if you've got any questions on that. I'd be happy to answer them. And thanks again for having the patience to go through around the car with me. Hopefully I've answered everything, but I may have missed a few things, so just give me a call. Take care. Bye now.